Hey guys, so for my second DIY of the day, because today is Fun Day Friday, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fairy garden. So um, when you're making a fairy garden, you can use so many different things. There are so many varieties of cute fairy gardens, and my best suggestion is to go on Pinterest and find some cute ones. Let me just fix this. That would have bothered me. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is what I bought, and then I'm going to show you how to put it together. So, um, if you guys didn't already see, I did a dollar haul, a dollar tree haul, <laughs> um, today. Uh, and I went to Dollar Tree and I bought so much stuff and I did a haul, um, and then I did a video on how to make gummy bear sprite ice pops. So those are still in the freezer. So while those are freezing, you guys can watch how to do this. Um, so one of the things I bought today from Dollar Tree was this bowl. Um, it is a garden bowl, and it has this, like, it's really pretty, actually. It's plastic. I can't tilt it now because I'll put dirt in it already. But, um, it's a, just a really pretty bowl, um, and it's pretty wide. Like, it's pretty big. Um, so yeah, I put some dirt in that already, um, up to the level that I wanted. It's about an inch down from the top. It's just the way I like it. Um, next I bought from Dollar Tree these really cute, let's get the camera to focus, there we go, um, these really cute fairy, little fairies, um, they're garden fairies, they had other things at Dollar Tree that were really great, they had, um, a set of three little gnomes that were adorable, and I literally almost bought the gnomes because they were so cute, but I was like, wait, no, you're doing a fairy garden, we need some fairies. So yeah, they're really cute. They have like different things in their hand. Let me see. One has a ladybug, one has an acorn, and the other one has a blue flower. Very cute. Um, the next thing I bought was this little bench, which is also very adorable. Um, it's made of like a half a wooden log. And there's sunflowers on the top, which I love sunflowers, so I thought that was really cute. Um, there's little grass and more flowers on the bottom. And a blue butterfly. Like that. Um, the next thing I bought was this little, um, what are these called? Hmm, I forgot what they're called. Uh, is it going to come to me? Well, whatever, you know what they are. <laughs> um, it's this little wooden, like, hut thing that people have in their backyards. This one has a yellow butterfly on it. Um, my bench had a blue butterfly on it. Very cute. Um, and there's a pink flower. This is so adorable. I love this. And it just matches the theme, like the same style as the bench. I thought they went really cute together. They both have the vines all over them. Just very cute together. Um, so then the last thing I bought to make my fairy garden was this Sunny Area Wildflower Blend. Of wildflowers. So yeah, this these require a lot of sun. I'm going to be putting this fairy garden on my desk, so hopefully it's enough sun. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to tilt this down like that, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this. Move that light over there. So yeah. Hang on, hang on. Why do cameras hate me so much? Can someone tell me why? I need to know. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you're going to take your little fairy garden and fill it up an inch from the top with dirt. Now, this is a super easy DIY. Um, now, I'm just going to start placing my things where I think they should go. Actually, I'm going to move these up front. Um, I had it all the way back here at first, but I moved it up a little. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want my wildflowers to grow in the back. Um, and then in the front, I was thinking of planting some grass so I could trim it so you'll be able to see all the fairies and everything. So I'm going to put that there. That looks pretty good there. Um, and then I'm going to put my bench right in the front here. Very cute. I'm leaving myself... Lots of room for my wildflowers to grow in the back. But after all, it is a garden. 
So that's looking really cute so far. I'm going to take these fairies out of here. And I'm going to start placing them. I'm going to put this one in the very front because she's like bent over on her knees. Um, maybe I'll put one hiding. I'm going to put one back here hiding, like coming through the wildflowers. And the last one I could put in that corner. Or do I like her better over here? What do we think, guys? I think I like her better over there. I'm just going to check it out myself. See that I like everything where it's placed. Wow, this is going to be so cute when the... Uh, when the flowers grow in, which probably is going to take a while, but very adorable. So I'll tilt it so you guys can see. Ah, we lost a fairy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm filming this on my iPad because my phone is having a little bit of a drama queen meltdown right now. So she's supposed to be standing. Okay. And then the last step, so I'll show you guys a better camera angle. Yes, so cute. There we go, that's perfect. So I placed all my little fairies and my little hut and my little bench. And I'm going to show you guys, see there's lots of room in the back for my wildflowers to grow. Because wildflowers grow pretty high. So what I'm going to do is fill that space in with seeds and wait for it to grow. And then like I was saying in the front where the fairies actually are, I might plant some grass seed um, so I can keep trimming it and it'll look really nice. So yeah, I'm going to have to show you guys um, once everything starts growing how it looks. But as of now, I'll throw in my little seeds and we will come back. I'll do a uh, another video to show you guys how everything looks once everything's grown in. So I just made a hole in the... Wow, there's so many seeds in here. I love Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm... I'm just going to sprinkle this on back here. Um, the, yeah, there's so many seeds. So I'm just going to... And then I'm spreading them out with my fingers where I want them to go. And I'll show you guys after. I'm going to put some that grow like kind of in the front of this... I'll show you when I pick it up. I'm going to get some more in the corner there. I just spilled them everywhere. Whatever. Then after I do this, I'm going to water my garden. And we'll do a check back video. Okay, so as you guys can see, I added um, the seeds to the back. I put it kind of in front of um, the girl up on the left, um, just so it could look like she's coming out of the wildflowers. I think that'll be really cute, and grass seed's going to go in the front, and they should grow pretty tall, and they have a lot of room in the back, so yeah. Yeah, guys, so this is my fairy garden. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to make sure to have another video once everything starts growing back in. Uh, I mean, not back in, growing in in general. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you make your own fairy garden, I totally want to see a video, or I totally want you to post a picture in the comments below. I need to see it. I really want to see your fairy gardens. So yeah, um, please hit subscribe. Please like my video. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos so many more videos. I have so many ideas for new videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that'll be really fun. So I hope you guys check out my next few videos and I hope you enjoyed this one and have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.